on WMIX Sports. Rams basketball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com is powered by the official voice of Rams Athletics Community, First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Converted Rams basketball is also presented in part by Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. Tyler Toyota and Tyler's Buick GMC. Totally Tyler. The Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Winning Edge. See what they can customize at winningedgeusa.com. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon. And also by Bandera Bank. Banking with local style. The Orthopedic Center in Southern Illinois. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Schmidt Ford of Salem. People's National Bank. Ford Square in King City Chrysler. You can count on us. And Bird Watson and Trog of Mount Vernon. Two locations to serve you better. We take you to the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. Driven by Tyler's. Where Chris Hugo and Danny Zawinski are standing by. For the Landers Collision Center's pregame show, Mount Vernon Rams basketball starts now. Good afternoon from Effingham. Actually, good morning still as we welcome you into the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios here on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. With Tom Porter, I'm Chris Hugo. Glad to be here with you from Effingham High School. It is the first session of this morning of the Effingham Totopolis. Christmas Classic. The Rams come in with a tournament record of 1-1. One one. Effingham is undefeated. However, the Rams, if they win this game, could find themselves in the tournament championship game tonight at 8 o'clock. And Tom, this would be a big game, obviously, even if a tournament championship berth were not on the line, before these two teams become equally more important with a tournament berth, a championship berth possibly on the line here. Yeah, there's two good basketball teams. Uh, Mattoon did us a little bit of a favor uh, staying in the basketball game against Brooks Academy with an eight-point loss. So it basically comes down to the winner of this game is going to be in the championship game. So a lot to play for today. Uh, looking forward to a good, hard-fought basketball game here. And uh, we'll see how it works out. We will definitely see how it works out. Landers Collision Centers in Mount Vernon and Salem, proud sponsors of this pregame show. It is the Mount Vernon Rams at 11-2. and two. It is the... Effingham Flaming Hearts at 8-1, and one. and for Mount Vernon and Effingham, Tom, nice little rivalry between these two teams over the past decade or so. Yeah, we played a lot of basketball against these guys with the Salem uh, Midwinter Classic uh, coming up here and playing now, and also we always play them in a regular season game every year. So they are a good, tough basketball team. They uh, kind of exemplify their coach. He was a very good coach, very disciplined, and uh, it's always a good win if you can knock off the Effingham Flaming Hearts. Well, we'll see if the Rams can do that. Of course, talking about the tiebreaker system here, if the Rams were to beat Effingham, they would be 2-1 and one, along with the likes of Brooks as well as these Effingham Hearts. The Hearts being the, the tournament tiebreaker for three teams is the point differential from all pool play games. The Hearts right now, if they lose, would have a point differential. Well, I guess they would factor losses too. Yeah. So you have to subtract and add, and it becomes one big long math equation. Yeah, basically it comes down to right now is the winner of this game is in the championship game, by the way the points work out, if my math is correct. So uh, Effingham has one less point to give than Mount Vernon, so it basically comes down to the winner of this game is going to be your uh, representative from this pool into the championship game tonight. And we will see how it works out for both of these teams. Plenty more to talk about on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. We need to take a quick break. When we come back, more to talk about. This is Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with a market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 
Happy holidays. This is Mike from College in Mount Vernon. And our family's third generation is proud to bring to you the most innovative car, truck, and SUV store. We appreciate your business. It's the totally new, totally pilot, and it's totally for you. Happy holidays from Pilot Toyota Buick GMC. Exit 95, Mount Vernon, Illinois, or on the web at pilotbuickgmc.com. UXGMC. Looking to promote or recognize your team, event, or organization? Check out Winning Edge. Winning Edge specializes in screen printing and embroidery on activewear, which is the longest-lasting promotional item. They will imprint your design on activewear such as T-shirts, hoodies, uniforms, hats, and bags. Contact Winning Edge to get the right activewear to help you make a lasting impression. Find Winning Edge at 212 South 9th Street, Mount Vernon, or on the web at winningedgeusa.com and Facebook. Ford Watson is celebrating 40 years of providing our customers with caring, compassionate personal service. Over the years, we have added services and products to ensure that we are meeting the medical needs of our customers. We are proud to announce that we're once again expanding our services and products to meet your needs. Our location at 3401 Broadway will provide dedicated and specialized pharmacy services. Our expanded scrubs and shoes, medical equipment, and supply offerings will be provided at our 1200 Main Street location. Ford Watson, specializing and expanding to provide our customers with better service and expanded product offerings. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Tyler, this is Mount Vernon Rams Basketball. Welcome back. WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com has your streaming video for the Mount Vernon Rams and the Effingham Hearts here from Effingham. It is the final pool play session of the second annual Effingham to Topless Christmas Classic. Winner of this game, probably, unless there's some other tiebreaker we don't know about, in a championship game tonight at 8 p.m. And, of course, the Rams hoping to be there. It would be their first appearance in the tournament championship of this young tournament. They won third place last year over Al Robbie on this very floor. But for the Rams, obviously a very important task in front of them right now. That's not just to beat the FAM Hearts. That's to get yourself into the championship. Yeah, this is going to be a tough basketball game. I think the key to this game is for Braden Fitzgerald to let the game come to him a little bit. Coach Ron Reed is not going to let him get comfortable looks tonight. He'll do whatever he can to take him out of the game, whether it be boxing one or if they do go zone to shade towards him every time he's got the basketball. I think the real key to this basketball game is if you have Bryce uh, Hunter and Shantez Taylor have big games, I think Mount Vernon has a real good shot at winning this game. Well, have a great shot indeed. We'll tell you about how they can win this game throughout this Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight. landers Of course, for the Mount Vernon Rams, obviously a lot of the ink has gone to and a lot of the publicity overall has gone to Braden Fitzgerald, who's had a great tournament, especially with last night's 30-point effort. Uh, but as far as the rest of this Ram team, obviously Gilwan Nelson has played a key role. Shantez Taylor in the tournament as well. But a game like this against a well-coached team like Effingham, you're going to have to have everybody step up. Yeah, you need some people that necessarily aren't ones that you look at as primary focuses on the offensive end to come through. Like I said, Bryce Hunter will be a big key. If they go boxing one, uh, the wing shot is going to be very important. And if we can knock down some shots and get Shantez getting to the rim, we can get him out of that defense and then get Braden involved a little bit more. So it's going to be very important that we're patient early on and take advantage of what they give us and then to see what adjustments they have to make as a result. And we'll, we'll make some adjustments real quick as well. We need to take a break on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit about the Effingham Hearts and their season to this point. They are 8-1. The Rams are 11-2. We'll take a break and come back. This is Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. Walk right in to Renly College beginning January 5th and sign up for spring classes. No appointment necessary. Renly College can save you thousands of dollars and put you on the fast track to a new career or continued education with over 100 degree and certificate programs. Trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Call 618-437-5321 or log on to rlc.edu. Renly College, your journey starts here. Hi, this is Joy, Nina, Carol, Jim, from People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. All of us at People's National Bank would like to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We truly appreciate our customers and consider each and every one of you to be part of the People's National Bank family. So from our family to yours, Merry Christmas. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909, member FDIC. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, this is Jeff Schmidt, especially kind of like in Mount Vernon. We have savings of up to $10,000 on remaining 2014 Chevy Silverado. This made Schmidt the obvious choice for all your truck needs. Plus, get a two-year, 24,000-mile free maintenance plan. The Silverado features rugged, high-strength steel in the frame and body structure. This steel is light and durable. Get your Silverado now at Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Hello, I'm Shauna Armstrong with Page Insurance. Whether it's your first time buying individual health insurance or you're just looking for better coverage, I can help you find the health plan that's right for you and your family. I'm certified to guide you through the health insurance marketplace and explain the differences between fixed benefit insurance, major medical, short-term medical, as well as any supplemental coverage you may need. Give me a call at 242-7000 or come see me at Page Insurance on Crownview in Mount Vernon. Your home for the Mount Vernon Rams is WMIX Sports, powered by Community First Bank. Welcome back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. From Effingham, the Mount Vernon Rams and the Flaming Hearts. And the de facto pool play championship between these two teams as the winner likely to the championship game at 8 p.m. tonight. They will face T-Town. As the Wooden Shoes got a big win, 87-60 to 60 over Al Robbie a moment ago. Brooks Academy beat Mattoon, 56-48. to 48. That's a quick Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard for you. Bird Watson Pharmacy, two locations in Mount Vernon, 12th in Maine and 34th in Broadway. Two locations to serve you better. With Tom Portner, I'm Chris Hugo. Seth Gass back at our Mount Vernon studio. And we talked about the Rams an awful lot, but you take a look at this Effingham team, and they do return a lot of talent from your go. Sure, they graduated quite a bit, but Braden Bone and thought I saw Grant Wolf was back. Michael Carey has seen some time for Ron Reed. And a well-coached team, a well-run program, 8-1 on the year, 2-1 in the Apollo Conference. And this is going to certainly be a tough test for the Rams today. Yeah, what Effingham does so well is they have a really good system that everybody knows their role. And Coach Reed does a great job of getting those kids to be willing to screen people, do the little things. They run a lot of offense. They run you through a ton of screens. They have a continuity offense where they just keep recycling through it. And you've got to be really willing to guard them and pay the price a little bit. I look for Mount Vernon to start out, and man, if they have any trouble guarding their offensive sets, I can see us going to a 1-3-1 pretty early and making them hurt us from the outside because their man stuff is really difficult to guard. And I really see the winner of today's game, first one to 40, has a real good shot at winning this game. It's going to be a you know drag-out tough tough basketball game. There have been many games between these two teams that have not made it to the 40-point level. We'll see if that happens here today. Of course, point differential from all pool play games is the tiebreaker if three teams finish with the same record. And of course, for the Rams right now, they are out in front with a plus 21 margin. Effingham is at plus 20 at 2-0. and Brooks is only at plus 5. They did beat the Rams by 2, but they lost to Effingham by, I believe... I thought it was seven last night. I may have that number off a little bit. But plus five, plus six, somewhere in there for Brooks Academy. So if the Rams win this one at all, obviously that margin will be subtracted from Effingham, and the Rams would be in the 8 o'clock game. However, if the Rams were to lose to Effingham, they would be one and two and likely sitting with a date in the fifth place game at five o'clock. So pretty well, it's either gonna be five or eight. Yeah, that's a big difference. <laughs> uh, so that obviously puts a little bit more importance on this game for the Rams. You you certainly like to be playing for the championship game at eight o'clock. And uh, not that the fifth and sixth place game you come out and not give your full effort, but it'd be a lot easier to get up for a championship game at eight o'clock than it will be for a fifth or sixth game place game at 5.30 this evening. Well, the Rams would certainly throw a wrench into everybody's plans if they can beat the Effingham Hearts here today. We'll take a break on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. When we come back, we still owe you your Ford Square King City Chrysler starting lineups, and we'll have plenty more to talk about as the Rams prepare for the Hearts. De facto pool play championship game here from Effingham High School. We're in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. We'll be back in just a bit. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Fact, there are 10 pharmacies in the city of Mount Vernon alone. So how do you choose your pharmacy? Are the staff people friendly and the pricing reasonable? Are they knowledgeable about medication interactions? And do you feel they're willing to take the time to talk to you one-on-one? -on -one? If your answer is no, call Eric and the staff at Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Mount Vernon. They'll always take the time to talk to you and have the knowledgeable staff to help you and your family with all your health care needs. 
the medicine shop accepts most insurance plans. And if you don't have prescription insurance, our pricing is very competitive. If you feel like you've paid too much for your medications, you very well may be. If you're homebound or want to save some time in your busy day, just give them a call and they'll come to your home or workplace at no extra charge. With all these convenient services and their willingness to serve you, what more could you ask for? Stop by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or give them a call at 618-242-8776. You'll be glad you did. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Bad luck. Some people were just born with it. Hi, this is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. We all know that someone who has that cartoon flap hanging over their head, getting rained on whenever the sun is out. The full moon is their worst enemy, and if something can be spilled, dropped, broken, tipped over, or lost, it will somehow happen to this person. Landers Collision Centers has seen it all. Whether you turn the wheel too sharply backing out of your garage and tore the front end off of your vehicle, crunched your undercarriage running over a curb, or clipped your fender pulling into the ATM, Landers Collision Centers has your back, and we certainly won't judge. As a direct repair facility for many insurance companies, we take care of just about everything, even getting you into a temporary vehicle while we restore yours. That's the Landers difference. Top to bottom, big or small, Landers fixes them all. Come see us in Mount Vernon and Salem and ask us about free details for the life of your vehicle. Or call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. Watch the Rams online at WMISSports.com. Powered by Red Lake College. Welcome back. WMIX, WMISSports.com. I see the American Legion color guard here. Didn't realize... We're going to have a second anthem here this morning from Effingham High School. They played it once before the Mattoon and Brooks Academy game here, but uh, always good to see the American Legion color guard here in Effingham. We'll get to all of that in just a moment. We'll also have your Ford Square King City Chrysler starting lineups coming after the national anthem here from Effingham. We've told you repeatedly the importance of this matchup. A loss likely puts them in the 5 o'clock fifth place game, a win, and more than likely in the 8 o'clock championship against T-Town. However... The 7th and 5th place games not entirely decided yet. Mattoon is in the 8th, or excuse me, the 7th place game. They will battle the 4th place finisher in Pool A, while the 5th place game remains to be decided for both pools. Al Robbie is in the 3rd place game tonight after losing to T-Town. The Shoes are now in the championship later tonight. However, a log jam right now between Mount Vernon Brooks Academy and Effingham. This game is of the utmost importance to decide the integrity of the rest of the way in this tournament. But with Tom Portner, I'm Chris Hugo on WMIX. And Tom, taking a look at all the teams in this tournament, I, I think that I don't want to say that I'm surprised at how good Brooks Academy is because anytime you're battling a team out of the Chicago Public League, but I think everybody's kind of been caught off guard by what many thought might be a pushover in Brooks Academy. Yeah, they came in as kind of an unknown, and they didn't have a winning record coming in, but you really don't know the type of competition they're playing up there. So... They were definitely a, a kind of a mystery team, and they turned out to be a pretty formidable opponent, to say the least. With Mount Vernon, Effingham, and Brooks Academy in the same pool, that's pretty darn strong in Pool A or whichever pool that is. And I think that many figured that over on the other side, uh, aside from Al Robbie, that maybe Oak Lawn would be a greater test for the wooden shoes. Charleston struggled for the past few years, unfortunately for them, but... It uh, looked like a cakewalk to the championship game for the Teutopolis wooden shoes in the tournament. Yeah, I don't think anybody's too surprised to see Teutopolis playing tonight in the 8 o'clock championship game. So, Will it be the Rams or will it be the Hearts? Stay tuned to find out. We will honor America here from Effingham. We'll come back and we'll have your Ford Square King City Chrysler starting lineups on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Landers Collision Center's Mount Vernon and Salem. Log on to see their work online at LandersAuto.com. We'll take a break and come back. This is Rams Basketball from WIX Sports. Walk right in to Renly College beginning January 5th and sign up for string classes. No appointment necessary. Renly College can save you thousands of dollars and put you on the fast track to a new career or continued education with over 100 degree and certificate programs. Trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Call 618-437-5321 or log on to rlc.edu. Red Lake College, your journey starts here. Hi, this is Joy, Nina, Carol, Jim, from People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. All of us at People's National Bank would like to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We truly appreciate our customers and consider each and every one of you to be part of the People's National Bank family. So from our family to yours, 
Merry Christmas. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC. Hi, this is Jeff Smith. This is really kind of like in Mount Vernon. We have savings of up to $10,000 on remaining 2014 Chevy Silverado. This makes Schmidt the obvious choice for all your truck needs. Plus, get a two-year, 24,000-mile free maintenance plan. The Silverado features rugged, high-strength steel in the frame and body structure. This steel is light and durable. Get your Silverado now at Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Hello, I'm Shauna Armstrong with Page Insurance. Whether it's your first time buying individual health insurance or you're just looking for better coverage, I can help you find the health plan that's right for you and your family. I'm certified to guide you through the health insurance marketplace and explain the differences between fixed benefit insurance, major medical, short-term medical, as well as any supplemental coverage you may need. Give me a call at 242-7000 or come see me at Page Insurance on Crown View in Mount Vernon. Your home for the Mount Vernon Rams is WMIX Sports, powered by Community First Bank. Welcome back to WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com for the Mount Vernon Rams and the Effingham Hearts. We're here live from Effingham, obviously, the topless Effingham Christmas Classic. Glad to be here with you on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. We owe you the Ford Square King City Chrysler starting lineups for service without an appointment. It's express lane, fast wheel changes, and more at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon. I turn it over to Tom Portner for the starting lineups. Quickly, for the Mount Vernon Rams, the visiting team today, 5'8", junior, Braden Fitzgerald, 5'11", senior, Bryce Hunter, 6'4", senior, Gilwan Nelson, 6'3", senior, Luke Wilson, and 6'1", senior, Shantez Taylor. Pretty much the lineup we have started with the entire year. And for the home team, the Flaming Hearts of Effingham, Six-foot sophomore, number 24, Grant Wolf, who is our leading scorer up to this point. Very good basketball player. A six-foot junior, number 15, Sean Zarezin. Probably butchered his name there. A 6'3 junior, number 33, Jared Miner. A six-foot senior, number 10, Braden Bone, who's also a very good athlete, good three-point shooter. And a 6'2 senior, number 25, Michael Carey. Those are your starters tonight, presented by King City Chrysler. It's a big finish at King City Chrysler. Chrysler offering 0% financing for up to 84 months, plus available bonus cash on select 2014 models. View their inventory at KingCityChryslerCenter.com or see why the best never rest at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Earlier today here at Effingham, Brooks Academy beat Mattoon 56-48. Across the way at T-Town, Tatopoulos beats Al Robbie 87-60. And right now at the half here in the Christmas Classic at Tatopolis, Oaklawn leading Charleston 20 to 18 at the break. So Oaklawn, not a very big lead over the Charleston Trojans at the half. Again, 20 to 18 there. They are fighting it out for the fifth and seventh place game over at T-Town. The Rams will be dressed in their away blacks, orange trim, orange numerics trimmed in white, while the Hearts will be dressed in their home whites with Red, white, and green trimmed down the sides, and red numerics trimmed out in green on the rest of the uniform. Glad to be here with you again from Effingham. The Rams and the Flaming Hearts playing for a pool championship here. The winner of this, because of the tiebreaker rules, will end up in the championship game tonight. Should the Rams lose, the tiebreaker would be the head-to-head -head tiebreaker between Effingham and Brooks. So Brooks is likely in the, well, depends on what happens here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty complicated at this point. Basically, if the Rams win, they're in the championship game. If Effingham wins, they are in the championship game. The rest will play itself out as we await the tip. It will be Jared Miner and Gilwan Nelson for the Rams, and they will control the tip here as we start the first quarter from the Christmas Classic in Effingham. Will the Rams get to the championship? You're in the right place to find out. As Taylor has it left wing in the right court. Left to right go the Rams. Hand off to Fitzgerald from Wilson. He'll pop for a long three, and it's no good. Glances off the side of the iron. Rebound tip to Fitz. He thought about putting it back up. Instead, now going to turn around off the defender off glass. High, no good. Far block rebound. No, not there from Gilwan. Fourth try. No, still not there. And finally, the Hearts come away with a rebound. It's Jared Miner as they race into the front court. Good job by the Rams crashing the offensive boards there. We need to finish around the rim. 7-19 to play, opening quarter from Effingham. Hearts with the basketball between the circles over the right side for Zaruzan. Back left of the circle, it is Bone. It's back over for Carey. 
Okay, now swing it around to the right side, out of the corner. Looking to go inside. Nothing quite there for Wolf. Zeruzin, and now they'll swing it around back to the top for Carey. Off the right wing. Hart's doing a great job of moving the ball around. It ends up at two points for Grant Wolf's little scoop layup outside the right block, and now it's two to nothing. Effingham is in straight up man to man right now. They're not going boxing one or triangle two at this point. Now off of the right wing, it is Bryce Hunter. Between the leg dribble, gives back to Fitzgerald's at the circle with 6.39 to play in the opening quarter. Rams basketball on WMIX is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC looking off the left wing. That is Wilson. He's going to be fouled from behind. The foul will be on the Hearts there first. It will be the first on Jared Miner. This inbounds play, they try to run Gilwan Nelson off a double screen to the opposite side for a shot around the goal here. Inbound will come now all the way around the perimeter as Taylor was trying to feed Nelson on the right block. It's stolen away by the Hearts. Wolf into the front court, stops the right wing, throws back. The reverse it around to the top for Carey. Carey gives back near the elbow for Wolf. Trying to dribble in, goes back to Carey. A little give and go play there for the Hearts. High low, and it is four to nothing with two more points for the Hearts. Yeah, that's good offense by them. I look for us to go 1-3-1 one, one here before too long. As the Fitzgeralds will come off the left wing to get it from Hunter. Opens up Hunter for a three from the right wing. It's soft, rebound inside. And this will be another defensive board for Michael Carey and the Hearts who are quickly into the front court with 5.47 to play in the first. That was Braden Bone with a quick touch. Now back to Miner to the top. They will go to Carey. Off the screen up top, Zeruzin back to carry off of the right wing. Looks into the right corner for Wolf. Hart's content with perimeter passing here, up 4 0 with 5.24 to play in the first quarter. A win puts Effingham in the championship, a loss to put Mount Vernon in the fifth place game. As now we're going to have a push foul. Looks like a little hand check touch on Braden Fitzgerald's, his first team's first. Yeah, got to keep our composure. They're going to run offense. You just got to be willing to guard for an extended period of time here. Rim Lake College can save you thousands on your collegiate education. See how and apply online at rlc.edu. Rim Lake College, your journey starts here. Inbound came from in front of the scorer's table. Zeruzin up top, going to go back to the right wing for Miner. Now Wolf up top, trying to dribble in. Mid-post jumper from the left is no good. Rebound at the feet of Taylor. He'll pick it up. And now with five minutes to play, the Rams will go the other way, seeking their first basket as they trail 4-0. Here to the host hearts. Fitz trying to come around baseline. He's going to be hip-checked out. And this will be another foul on Effingham, their second. Going to get a diagonal screen from Bryce Hunter for Luke Wilson, and Bryce is going to go off the screen from Gilwan for a three. Slip the screen, good job. As Gilwan from the high post able to slip inside to make it 4-2. to two. Cuts it in half for the Rams on the deficit. And now Effingham into the front court. Off the left wing, that is Braden Bone looking back to the right. Wolf off the screen in the corner. Going to dribble drive. Mid-post kick out, and now, ooh, a reach foul on the Rams. About the mid-post slip is when Wolf was able to get rid of the basketball. Wolf drew the foul on a hand check, and Effingham will inbound to the left of their basket. Out of a box set. More of a rhombus than a rectangle as now this will be a quick three. A grip and rip from the inbound. No good by Wolf. Rams get the rebound. 4.30 to play in the first. We're live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios driven by Tyler. Spitz wants a long three. No good. Rebound underneath will be out of the reach of Gilwan Nelson. Ends up with Carey. Now a nice home run ball off the right block. Inside defense clears and traveling with the basketball was Jared Miner. It'll go back the other way. Still a 4-2 game with 4.16 to play in the first. Why play the financing waiting game? Become pre-approved right now and apply online at tylertoyota.net. It's totally new. Totally Tyler's. Rams have possession off of the right wing into the front court. Now looking into the corner instead up top to Wilson. Good pass by Bryce. And now a handoff from Wilson to Fitz coming around from the left wing. Fitz trying to dribble drive. Shut off. Pulls up from 18. Wild shot is no good. It'll be a high rebound if the Rams can get it. Wilson will get it and put it back up and in. Luke Wilson will tie it at four. And now with 3.47 to go in the first, it's an interesting ball game. Yeah, defensive battle. This is exactly what I expected from these two teams. Left wing, that is Grant Wolf with the basketball. Looking up top for Bone. Nice head fake. Throws off to the right arc for Miner. 
3.29 to play in the first quarter. We'll look for a Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game in this one right now. Tied at four. Bryce Hunter trying to get the ball away up top from Zaruza. Boom. Now working at left block. Turnaround jumper coming from Carey. A short rebound will go to Taylor. And here come the Rams into the front court. Nice play to Gilwan. Slipped behind the defender, and it's 6-4 to four Rams. Timeout, Ron Reed. This timeout's presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Mount Vernon at 23-39 Broadway. And great play, great find. Gilwan Nelson able to convert, put the Rams on top for the first time today. Yeah, nice look ahead there. Again, we need to take advantage of beating them down the floor a little bit because their half-court defense is so solid. If we got an opportunity to get an easy one, we certainly need to look ahead and get those as much as we can. 6-4, Mount Vernon leading with 3.09 to play in the first. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of Rams Athletics. That was one good play by the Rams. Make your own great play when you open a Community First Bank free high-yield checking account that earns cash back. Just ask for one member FDIC. With Tom Porter, I'm Chris Hugo, Seth Gass, back at our Mount Vernon studio on WMIXFM Mount Vernon, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. Bottom of the noon hour, and right now the Rams no longer on bottom. They're on top 6-4 to four on what has been great play since starting trailing 4-0. Yeah, Mount Vernon's gone on a good run here. They just have to keep getting it done on the defensive end. That's going to be the key. Offense starts on defense, and if we can keep, keep getting stops, we can sometimes get some easy looks the other direction. Link the floor inbound out of the timeout for Effingham with 3.07 to play in the first quarter. Zeruzan to the top for Miner between the circles. Off to the right wing for Wolf. Nice backdoor cut by number 25, Michael Carey. Although the Rams will tip it out of bounds. Good play by Luke Wilson, and now re-inbounding will be Effingham left of their bucket. Yeah, good job by Luke fighting over that post up in the box. Looking for the quick play into the right. Have to go to Carey instead of Wolf. Now to Wolf, right of the circle with 2.55 to play in the first quarter. Carey between the circles, up top, looking off right of the arc. Zarusa, a nice find. The minor is going to be tipped away, and now a push foul. It's going to be on Luke Wilson. Wilson, it looks like, had a clean defensive play, but it was, I believe, Carey that ran into him, and now Effingham on the third ran foul keeps possession. Yeah, I don't like that call. He was in good position. He was fronting his man. Terrible pass. Got a steal, and they called a foul. Now a quick turnaround play. Good inbound play from the left. They go right block into Michael Carey. He has four, and it's 6-6. Six, six. We're all tied up with 2.39 left in the first. Right wing off arc. That is going to be Hunter. Between the circles for Wilson. Handoff to Fitz on the far wing. 2.28 to play. First quarter action from Effingham High School. The Hearts and Rams all tied up at six with a berth in the championship tonight on the line. Fitz with it on the left wing. Looking to dribble from the elbow. They're really helping there. When they did the dribble handoff there, the guy that was guarding the guy handed off really showed on Fitz to take that away from him. Turn around, coming Taylor inside. Nice move by Sean Taz. He was able to curl around and get to the right block for the layup. Taylor makes it 8-6 and puts the Rams back on top. That's what we need out of Sean Taz. Be aggressive, take the ball to the rim, draw fouls and score. Now off to the right side into the front court for the Hearts. Looking for Bone up top. Bone now to the left elbow for Carey who finds Wolf. Hearts are going to reverse around the perimeter as they typically do. Now back left wing. Wolf is trying to drive. He was partially blocked. Now blocked again. A couple of tries here for Wolf and the Rams end up with the defensive rebound. Gilwan taking it length of the floor for the easy layup as he goes left. He has six. 10-6. Mount Vernon on top. Nice job by Gilwan Nelson getting that block shot and taking it coast to coast for the layup. He's making a strong case to be your Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game. Look for Tony Wilt in his office. Find him online at TonyWilt.com or find the White State Farm Jeep around town and get to a better state with State Farm. A minute six to play in the first quarter. 10-6 Rams on top trying to overcome this Effingham defense here in quarter number one. Carey with it 18 feet away. Throws up top bone a basket. Effingham throwing a bone there as Braden Bone knocks down the 17-footer, and now it's just 10-8. See what the Rams can do here with 42 seconds left to play in the quarter. Fitz is trying to drive, and he gets an easy layup. Fitzgerald's was left somewhat open, created his own opportunity, and now extends the lead to four. Yeah, they ran at him, tried to trap him. He's just too strong with the basketball to trap. He got it all the way to the rim for an easy bucket. Effingham's going to hold for one shot here, it looks like. That would be the smart play for them with 19 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. 
We'll have more Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboards throughout the afternoon. We hope you'll stay tuned as we near the end of the first quarter. With 10 seconds left, it's left of the circle for Braden Bone. 12-8, Rams on top. Bone trying to clear out some traffic with five at the circle. Now to the elbow, Miner with two. Kicks back, Bona three on the way. No at the buzzer. And that'll be your first quarter score. The Mountford and Rams 12, the Effingham Hearts 8. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Hi, I'm John David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you need each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy holidays. This is Mike from Tyler's and Mount Vernon. And our family's third generation is proud to bring to you the most innovative car, truck, and SUV store. We appreciate your business. It's the totally new, totally Tyler's, and it's totally for you. Happy holidays from Tyler, Toyota, Buick, GMC. Exit 95, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Or on the web at TylerToyota.net. Toyota. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. Driven by Tyler. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball. We welcome you back to start the second quarter. Rams basketball is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Always bank in your hometown team. Community First Bank, home of the one account, featuring free checking and high-yield interest. Member FDIC. Effingham starts with the basketball, trailing 12-8. Bone with it up top. There's a side out of bounds, and now let's see what the Hearts can do with it here. It's looking to go outside the post for Carey. Mid-post trying to turn in on Reeves. Shot up and good. What a nice turnaround play there by Michael Carey, and it's 12-10. Yeah, good, strong post move. Got to have a little bit of help coming from the opposite side if he turns middle there. Taylor with it off the left sideline for the Rams in the front court. He'll take it himself. Good play there by Shantez Taylor. He has four. He'll possibly have five as he goes to the line for the end one on the Effingham foul. Just a great play from start to finish. Yeah, he's tough to guard. They're going to have to help on him because they got a big kid guarding him right now. Shantez is really good off the dribble. That foul was on Sean Zaruzan, his first team's third. And free throw literally as far down as it could go before popping out. It's 14-10. Effingham got the rebound. They trail by four. Now the Rams trying to trap. Hart's able to slip through. They still have a beat left with 7-17 to play in the first half. 14-10 the score. Off of the far arc, that is Grant Wolf with a left-hand dribble. Now to the top for Miner. Back to the left wing for Zeruzan. Typically a name more associated across the county in T-Town, but some Zeruzans here in Effingham as well. Carey with it up top looking inside and Miner finds himself all alone underneath. That'll cut it to two. It's 14-12 Rams. A yeah, good baseline flex screen there to get him open for an easy layup. Braden Fitzgerald's across the timeline. Right hand dribble throws near the elbow for Gilwan. Finds an open seam right. He had his back to the defense but can't complete the basket and now puts it up and in. Does. Chantez Taylor he has four in the quarter, six in the game, and it's 16-12 Rams. Yeah, he was one of my keys to the game. He's off to a pretty good start right now. I need him to stay active and stay aggressive. Now with on a crossover dribble is Wolf. Curls around to the left post and leaves a shot long, but Miner there to clean up the mess. And Effingham stays within two, not going anywhere, 16-14. Good initial defense, can't give up the offensive rebound. Dylan Reeves came to help, and that's what opened up the offensive rebound on the opposite side. And now the Rams have Nelson. He's inside the arc, comes post, throws up a shot. That is not going to count. Foul is on the floor. It looked like he had started to make the move to the basket, which was one complete move, but the Rams will have to inbound underneath their own bucket here with 5.58 to play in the first half, up 16-14. They're going to set a flare screen for Braden Fitzgerald's here. As Taylor able to go baseline. Coming from the right is Dylan Reeves. And now it's 18 to 14. Rams up four. Nice driving kick by Shantez. He's off to a really good start. Carey will throw off to the right arc. Here comes. That is Miner to the basket. Clean block from behind, but not so clean apparently as it's going to send Miner to the line to shoot two. Can't let him beat you off the dribble there. Gilwan needs to close out under control and make him shoot the perimeter shot. 
Rin Lake College powers our video streaming, and they offer over 100 degree and certificate programs for thousands less. See which is right for you with full descriptions at rlc.edu and apply online while you're there. 18-14, Rams hanging on to a four-point advantage with 5.36 to play in the half. Jared Miner at the line shooting two, missed the first, but makes the second. Makes it a one-possession ball game at 18-15. Rams into the front court via Hunter. Now off to the right wing, Fitz. Going to leave it for Reeves. He'll go to the basket. Wild shot is no good. Got his own rebound. Throws out Hunter. Screen three on the way. No. Rams squander a big chance there, and now the Hearts with an opportunity with 5.17 to play in this first half. They're going to set up a play here as Bowen's going to come off of a ball screen from the wing. Throwing it off to the left wing for Reed Schaefer. Inside, Carey, a nice play. Shot swatted away, but it's rebounded by Wolf. Reverse layup is good. Good yes. initial defense again. Got to clean up that offensive rebound. You just have to know where all the hearts are on the floor at all times because they're capable of that. Back within one is Effingham. It's 18-17. Now the Rams to go on. Right corner three on the way. Wide open is Hunter. Big three by Bryce, and it puts the Rams back up four, 21-17. Nice drive and kick. Bryce needs to knock down that open look like he did just there. Front court up top. That is Carey. Trying to find something to do with it against Reeves. Trying to back him up. Now we'll kick outside. Wolf wants a three for the answer. Good. Well, hello, Wolf has five straight for Effingham, and they're back within one at 21-20. Real good shot. Sean Tez played pretty good defense there on the closeout and made it make a very difficult shot. Between the circles will go Braden Fitzgerald. Community First Bank of the Heartland, the official voice of Rams Athletics here on WMIX. Find them at Mount Vernon, Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Remember, FDIC, equal housing lender. Fitzgerald still with the basketball, still has it crossed the arc. Now between the circles with the left hand. Back to the right hand with 3.50 to play in the first half. 21-20 to score. Drops it off in the right corner for Hunter. Still beyond the perimeter here are the Rams. Fitzgerald's with it on the right wing. Back to the left side for Gilwan. Hands off Hunter. Screen three on the way. Good. Bryce has back-to-back -back bounds for the Rams. Lead is back to four. It's 24-20. Always good to see the ball go through the hoop. It makes the next shot a lot easier. Left wing, or actually the sideline for Wolf. To the top for Bone. Got away with the walk. Long deuce on the way. It rattles the iron. It's very kind for the Hearts. Bone has four on the night. It's going to cut it in half. It's 24-22. Timeout on the floor is presented by Medicine Shop Pharmacy. 23-39 Broadway in Mount Vernon. 30-second timeout called by Ron Reed. I assume to draw up something defensively here. Trailing 24-22, and the Hearts just won't go away. No, they're not going to go away. This is going to be a close game all the way down to the wire. It's going to come down to who wants it more, who can knock down free throws under the pressure of the fourth quarter. 316 left here in the first half. We're in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Tyler's. Visit the new and improved Tyler's locations just west of Interstates 57 and 64 in Mount Vernon. Tyler's Toyota and Tyler's Buick GMC, totally new. Totally Tyler's. With Tom Porter, I'm Chris Hugo on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. We ran basketball out of the timeout. Length of the floor inbound left to right. 3.13 to go in the second quarter, 24-22. Rams lead the Hearts, but for how much longer is the Hearts? A formidable test today for the Rams. They come in 8-1 on the year. That includes two, actually 9-1 now after winning this morning. Handoff play for Hunter. Thought about the three. Now trying to slip into the corner. Throws back right wing for Nelson. Backdoor cut by Reeves instead of handoff to the right wing. Hunter's going to find Taylor. He's going to try to go to the basket. Nope. Finds Gilwan inside off glass and a foul. Nice finish. Once again, though, a nice, nice drive and kick by Shantez Taylor. That'll make it 26-22, but a chance to the line to extend it to five, which would be the largest Ram lead of the night or the morning slash afternoon as the free throw is good. So an and one there for Gilwan Nelson for the three-point play. He now has nine on the day with 2.39 to go in the first half. That's Wolf handing off for Bone at the left wing. Back around to the right side for Schaefer looking into the corner. Wolf's going to go back to Bone at the circle with 2.27 to go in the first half. Up top, that's Miner. 
And that's going to be forced away on a steal. They tried right wing. It's Reeves on the steal. He'll go length the floor layup. Yes. And a foul. And the nice Rams are up. by Dylan Reeves. Team's a little bit fired up after that. A good steal, good finish at the other end. And now Dylan to the line for the end one, and he is amped. That'll be the third foul on Michael Carey, a guy that the Hearts cannot have in foul trouble, but is. Yeah, that's a big foul on uh, Effingham's part. They're going to have to go to the bench here. As Carey has six of Effingham's points here in the game, and subbing for him will be number 21, Brady Jackson. A chance to get to 30 here in the first half. Mount Vernon can string together a couple of stops. And now this thing spread out a little bit. Wow. Uh, principle of verticality breakage on the hearts, but it'll go against the Rams. That's a big foul there. You can't get Shantez any cheap ones because he's guarding the best player on the other team. And we're going to need him down the stretch. 29-22. Reeves missed the free throw. Taylor and... A Hart went up for the rebound, and Taylor gets the foul. He was the inside man. Hart's into the front court with the basketball as Reed Schaefer. Looking back to the right for Bone. Two minutes to play in the first half. 29-22, the Rams up a touchdown. Looking to the corner. Schaefer thought about the three, pulls it down. Gives to the top now for Wolf, who's able to find Jackson. Back to Miner on the left wing. Looking around Schaefer. Thought he had a three chance. Good to close in was Hunter, and now the shot blocked to the bucket. Wolf thought he was fouled, no dice. Rams with the rebound with a minute 38 left to go here in the first half. Great effort by the Rams. It's been an offensive explosion here in half number two. It sees the Rams up seven with a minute 26 to go. Right corner, Fitzgerald's got a nice pass from Taylor. Taylor's going to get it back, though, near the timeline with a minute 20 to play here in the second quarter. Look for us to be a little bit patient here and make sure we get a good one with just a minute 12 to go in the half. Long three from Fitz. Oh, it looked like it was on the mark. That's the kind of shot you love if it goes in, but you absolutely despise if it does not. Yeah, a little bit of quick three there. Hearts with the rebound into the front court. That's Wolf. Crossover dribble trying to get to the left elbow. It's going to back out to the volleyball line and throw over to Miner. 52 seconds left in this second quarter. Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Home of the one account. One means more. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Oh, ho, ho. big shot from the top by the Hearts. That was Braden Bone. It's actually an 18-footer, and it's 29-24. Rams going to be content with killing some time on the clock. 19 seconds left, 29-24 the score. Out of the right corner, Fitzgerald's with the basketball. They're coming to trap him there. Need to swing the ball. Just like that. Easy play inside to Shantez Taylor. And the Rams make it 31-24. And now Effingham squanders an opportunity as time expires. 31-24, Rams at the half. We'll come back with their second chance auto halftime show. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Not sure what individual health insurance plan is right for you? The Affordable Health Care Act has left many with more questions than answers. I'm Shauna Armstrong with Page Insurance. I'm certified to help find you the answers you're looking for. Together, we can analyze all your needs and shop the health insurance marketplace during this open enrollment period to find the coverage that is right for you and your family. Give me a call at 242-7000 or come see me at Page Insurance on Crownview and Mount Vernon. At Banterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Banterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Banterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Banterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I had been suffering with carpal tunnel for years, just coping with the symptoms of tingling with my fingers and gradually getting worse to the total numbness of my hands. My fingers were so numb and swollen, I couldn't even bend them. It was waking me up several times at night, and I was exhausted all day. If this sounds familiar, you may be suffering from a condition called carpal tunnel syndrome. Dr. Ahn at the Orthopedic 
Center of Southern Illinois specializes in treatment of the hand and wrist and treats carpal tunnel as well as treatment of the shoulder and elbow. He performs a minimally invasive procedure on patients who fail to respond to non-surgical methods of treatment. Endoscopic carpal tunnel relief is a surgical treatment used to minimize pain, reduce scarring, reduce therapy, and allows patients to resume normal activities in a short period of time. Endoscopic surgery is a highly effective treatment and has been used for more than 20 years. For an appointment, please call Dr. Ahn at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois at 242-3778 or visit us online at orthocenter-si.com. Dr. Chance Auto in Mount Vernon offers great quality cars and bank great financing. And that's great news. Who else in the area can offer that? For nearly 35 years, they've been helping people with good and not so good credit get a good vehicle at a good price. Just make your payments on time and you can save hundreds, even thousands on the total price of your vehicle. The selection has never been better, so don't get stuck this winter. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon, or call 244-4582. Second Chance Auto, honest people, honest deals. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Second Chance Auto Halftime Show starts now. Welcome back to Effingham for your second chance auto halftime show with Tom Portner. I'm Chris Hugo on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Whether buy here, pay here dealer in the area can save you hundreds, even thousands on the total cost of your vehicle. Second Chance Auto can. Stop by their impressive lot and find out more at Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. 31-24, Rams up by 7 at the half over Effingham. A win puts the Rams in the championship tonight, and Tom, good first half for the Rams. Yeah, I'd say, uh, just real quick look at the stats here. Mount Vernon shot 75% on two-point shots, 12 for 18, 29%, 2 for 7 from 3, 33%, 1 for 3 from the line for a total of 31 points. Effingham was equally as hot from the field from two-point land, 10 for 16, 63%. Three point shots, one for two, 50%. Free throws, one for two, 50% for a total of 24. Only four total turnovers in the first half. So that was a really, really well played first half by both teams on the offensive end and defensive end. Solid first half indeed. We'll talk more about it coming up in just a moment. 31 24, Rams to the half. As far as individual scores, Gilwan Nelson leading the way with nine. Sean Ted Taylor has eight for Effingham. Wolf and Carey leading the way with a combined 13. We'll tell you more when we come back on your Second Chance Auto Halftime Show, which buy here, pay here dealer in the area offers the largest selection of quality, dependable vehicles in one location at a great price. The answer is simple. It's Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. We'll take a break. Come back. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Ford Watson is celebrating 30 years of providing our customers with caring, compassionate personal service. Over the years, we have added services and products to ensure that we are meeting the medical needs of our customers. We are proud to announce that we're once again expanding our services and products to meet your needs. Our location at 3401 Broadway will provide dedicated and specialized pharmacy services. Our expanded scrubs and shoes, medical equipment, and supply offerings will be provided at our 1200 Main Street location. Ford Watson, specializing and expanding to provide our customers with better service and expanded product offerings. Hi, this is Jeff Schmidt. Come into Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac in Mount Vernon today and take advantage of the season's best event and save on our entire lineup of Cadillac collections. Schmidt has the best selection in the region. Cadillac's beautiful exteriors and meticulously crafted interiors make every vehicle a dream to drive. Remember, when it comes to service, there's Cadillac and there's everybody else. Hurry to the season's best event at Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you need each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball. Welcome back to your Second Chance Auto Halftime Show. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Some quick half, some quick scores from around the area. At Collinsville today, East Side beats Oakville, Missouri, 64-51. At Carbondale, Murfreesboro beats Cairo, 76-55. It was Madison beating Heron, 61-58. Marion over Millington Central, 66 to 62. 
Cesar Valier today. Century beats ZR 69 to 48. It was Odin beating Vienna 74 66. Girls action. Centralia beats Riverview Garden 63 to 46. However, the Lady Rams fall to Westland 51 to 42. Also around the area today. How about right here in Effingham? Brooks Academy beats Mattoon 56 48. T-Town beats Al Ravi out of Chicago, 87 to 60. Um, right now, Oak Lawn has it in hand over there at T-Town as they lead. Charleston, 46 to 31, with about five minutes left to go in that one. That scoreboard update is presented by Bird Watson Pharmacy. Two locations to serve you better in Mount Vernon. Find all of their scrubs and home medical equipment at 12th and Main, or all of their pharmaceuticals at 34th and Broadway. In Mount Vernon. We'll take a break, come back. It's just set for second half action here from Effingham, where it's the Mount Vernon Rams 31, the Mount Vernon Rams 24. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Fact there are 10 pharmacies in the city of Mount Vernon alone. So, how do you choose your pharmacy? Are the staff people friendly and the pricing reasonable? Are they knowledgeable about medication interactions? And do you feel they're willing to take the time to talk to you one on one? If your answer is no, call Eric and the staff at Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Mount Vernon. They'll always take the time to talk to you and have the knowledgeable staff to help you and your family with all your health care needs. The Medicine Shop accepts most insurance plans. And if you don't have prescription insurance, our pricing is very competitive. If you feel like you've paid too much for your medications, you very well may be. If you're homebound or want to save some time in your busy day, just give them a call and they'll come to your home or workplace at no extra charge. With all these convenient services and their willingness to serve you, what more could you ask for? Stop by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or give them a call at 618-242-8776. You'll be glad you did. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Happy holidays. This is Mike from Carlos in Mount Vernon, and our family's third generation is proud to bring to you the most innovative car, truck, and SUV store. We appreciate your business. It's the total of you, total pilot, and it's totally for you. Happy holidays from Pilot, Toyota, Buick, GMC. Exit 95, Mount Vernon, Illinois, or on the web at PilotBuickGMC.com. Buick GMC. Walk right in to Red Lake College beginning January 5th and sign up for spring classes. No appointment necessary. Rinley College can save you thousands of dollars and put you on the fast track to a new career or continued education with over 100 degree and certificate programs. Trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Call 618-437-5321 or log on to rlc.edu. Rinley College, your journey starts here. Back to Mount Vernon Rams basketball. Powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to WMIX, WMIXSports.com as we head to the third quarter from Effingham. The Rams and the Hearts with Mount Vernon on top, 31-24. to Chris Hugo with Tom Porter alongside Seth Gass back at our Mount Vernon studio. And for the Rams, hot start obviously, but also an equally hot start for the Hearts. So the Rams are up seven right now. They're going to have to do a lot in the second half to stay ahead. Yeah, more of the same for the Rams. I really expect Coach Reed to start kind of changing up some defenses here. Mount Vernon got into a pretty good flow there, being 12 for 18 from the field, 75%, which is crazy. I really see him trying to change things up here in the second half and maybe go boxing one, triangling two, just to give Mount Vernon a different look. The Rams will start the third quarter with the basketball. 31-24, Mount Vernon on top. They go right to left here in the second half as Hunter has it. Throws off to the right sideline in front of the Ram bench for Fitz. Looking off short corner, that was Wilson. Back to the deep right wing, Fitz trails with 7.46 to go in the third quarter. We're broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Tyler's. Wilson with it from Hunter off of the right wing. Good scoop pass. Taylor thought about a three. Now gives off to Gilwan Nelson. He had nine in the first half. Braden Fitzgerald's off a handoff, thrown back to the right side for Wilson. He drops off for Hunter. The Rams content with finding the shot that suits them here to start this second half as we're seven minutes and 21 to go. Turn around, coming from Gilwan. Iron not kind. It rolled off the back. It looked like it was going to catch, but ends up in the hands of the Hearts. Wolf into the front court. Up top, crossover dribble, three on the way. No good. Rebound right in the hands of Wilson. Doesn't get any easier than that when it falls right in your lap. Oh, that was good position. That's when you know you got good position. The ball can hit the floor and you can still get it. 
Nelson with it off the left wing for the Rams. Backs up with the right hand dribble. Going to hand off to Hunter off a ball screen. Trying to curl around. Nothing there. Goes to Luke Wilson. Fitzgerald's coming around from the far wing. 6.42 to play in the third quarter. 31-24. Rams on top. Fitz makes his move to the basket. Blocked from behind. Rebound to Wolf. Here come the Hearts. One-on-one. -on -one Matchup with Nelson. Left hand layup is no good. Rebound from Zeruz and a foul. It's going to be the third foul on Luke Wilson, I believe. So Luke indeed has his third. That'll be the first of the Rams here in the third quarter. The inbound will come right into the bucket in a box set for the Hearts. In the minor, back up top to Bone. Bone was looking for Zeruzan. There he is, off of the right side. Pulls up at the elbow. Jumper short. Rebound inside to Carey with foul trouble. He leans in on Luke, and that's going to be another foul on Wilson. His fourth. And to the line will go, I believe, Michael Carey to shoot two. Yeah, got to clean up the defensive boards. Can't give them opportunities like that, get second shots. That gets Luke pretty much out of the game until midway through the fourth quarter now. At the line shooting two is Michael Carey. Dylan Reeves waits to check in. He will after the first free throw, and there it is. It's good from Carey. He has seven. It's 31-25 as we see the first points of this third quarter. Rinley College powers our video streaming. Find them at rlc.edu to see how you can save thousands on your college education. Walk right in starting January 5th and register for your spring classes. Second free throw good. So Carey makes both. He now has eight. And back within five for the Flaming Hearts looking to catch fire. It's Taylor with it off the left wing. Looking inside, trying to go corner baseline. That's to scoop back to Reeves. He'll take a three, and it's in and out. Rebound underneath. Taylor put back up and in. Chantez a big putback and then a big collision with Zeruz and no call either way as Taylor now has 10. Nice job by Chantez. He's been really active this entire basketball game. 33-26, up seven are the Rams with 5.45 left to go in the third quarter. Off the right arc, that is Carey. They'll swing it around to the left side for Wolf. Looking in the corner, give back to Bone. Bone gets it from Miner, and a nice play off the top of the window for Braden Bone. He has eight, it's 33-28. They will renew this matchup in late February, up here in Effingham. The Rams and the Hearts, a nice rivalry. have seemed to have met each other in at least one tournament a year. Fitch, screen three from 25. Good. Wow. Nice screen by Dylan Reeves. Like to see Fitz knock one down, get his confidence going here. 36-28, the Rams up eight. Community First Bank of the Heartland. That was one good play. Make your own great play when you open a Community First Bank free high yield checking account that earns cash back. Just ask for one. Big stop for the Rams here. If we can get a double-digit lead, that's big in a game like this where it's, the points are very hard to come by. Now looking underneath the Rams, trying to make a play defensively, but unable to contain there as Miner tries a wild shot, does him a favor, misses. Taylor with the rebound into the front court. He'll go jump stop, throws back door to Gill. One lost, Reeves recovers, forces a pass <laughs> into coverage, and now the Hearts will steal it away and go into the front court. Link the floor, though, it's Wolf. He left it short, got his own rebound, skies and gets it in. Good play to post up and put it back up and in by Grant Wolf, and that cuts 8-6. to six. It's 36-30, Rams on top. Looks like a 2-1-2 zone trap, half-court trap. Going to keep the ball in the middle of the floor. Into a man-to-man. -man. Skip pass to the right wing for Hunter from Taylor. He's going to drop it off now at the circle. Deposits it with Fitzgerald's and off to the right arc now for Nelson. Back to Fitz. Another long three and a foul. He did it again. The Reggie Miller foot kick. And he Fitz will go to the line again. to shoot three. That one for as bad of a shot as it ended up becoming. Looked like it was going to drop. And I say bad just because as he did the foot kick, he started a little early, and it messed up his shot a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he, he did all he could to draw that foul. It'll be the first on Braden Bone. Second, make that first of the half for Effingham. I think we'll see Mount Vernon next defensive possession, possibly switch things up, maybe go a little 1-3-1. One, one. They're getting a little comfortable in their half-court offense right now. The Effingham Flaming Heart, so maybe we can switch some things up here. Fitz has made two of two thus far as the second one just went in. It's 38-30. Tony Wilt, glad to help your family with all of their insurance needs. Give his office a call. Find him on the web at TonyWilt.com. 
or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town and get to a better state. Multiple Rams make it a case to be our Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game. Six points in the quarter for Braden Fitzgerald makes it 39-30. to 30. Let's see if the first to 40 wins holds true. Yeah, we're in a 1-3-1 right now. Going to make him beat us from the perimeter here. Braden Bone with it on the right wing. Back up to left side, Wolf into the corner for Zeruz on left side. Now a force pass, Gilwan will intercept in the paint. Three on two for the Rams, leads, fits, it's too far, gives back though to Gilwan, he's fouled on the way up. And that was something out of nothing for the Rams as Gilwan will get to go to the line. Yeah, Fitz ran down an errant pass there, made a beautiful save into Gilwan for the foul and two shots here. So now a chance to get to 40. 39 to 30, Rams with 3.29 to play in the third quarter. Just the first foul on Grant Wolf as Effingham's been somewhat tame, I should say, defensively, not overly aggressive. As the first free throw is no good by Gilwan Nelson. I like our switch of defense there. They looked a little bit confused and uh, turned the ball over after about two or three passes. I think we'll probably stay in that a few more possessions. Second one is no good by Gilwan Nelson. Rare two misses at the line for Gilwan. And Effingham's going to call a timeout to talk about it. It's presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy at 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Log on to mtvernonhealth.com to learn more about the Medicine Shop as well as TMS Mobility and Rehab. With Tom Porter, I'm Chris Hugo from Effingham, where the Rams lead the Hearts 39-30. A win tonight puts either team in the championship game against Totopolis. Right now, 326 remains in the third quarter. The Rams' chances look good. They have to keep this up. Yeah, I, that time out there by Coach Reed is to get them prepared for this 1-3-1. We may go to a man just for a possession or two just to get him kind of out of their mind again and then go right back into 1-3-1. But he's trying to get his team prepared for that. They weren't ready for that switch of defense there. From hoodies to T-shirts, awards to promotional items, koozies to bags. Winning Edge can customize just about anything to suit your needs. Stop by and see them at 212 South 9th in Mount Vernon or log on at win to winningedgeusa.com. 326 remains in the third quarter. Effingham late to break from the timeout huddle. Rams lead by 9, 39-30 with 326 to go in this third quarter. Top of the hour on WMIX-FM, Mount Vernon, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. we're going to stay in the 1-3-1, one, one, it looks like, by the way we're set up right now. For the hard still inbound, the point of entry will be about three-quarter court. They go left to right here in the second half. Need to find Wolf and Bone when we go 1-3-1. One, one. That's their two primary shooters. Left side's a ruse and back to Wolf, throwing it over to the right wing for Bone, looking in the corner for Carey. Instead goes back to Wolf on the left wing. 314 to go in the third in the far corner now. Touch foul on Bryce Hunter, and he I guess apparently pushed Reed Schaefer toward the out-of-bound line, though it looked like he had stumbled. Yeah, so we need to stay away from these cheap fouls. Don't want to get them into the bonus early on here. Now a kick save is off of the right wing. Bone was looking to lead to Ruzan into the corner, and Gilwan kicks it out of bounds. So Effingham will reset, side of the bounds on the near sideline. Throws into Bone. Bone across the timeline from the backcourt. Gets it right back, though, from Wolf onto the right wing. Three minutes to play in the third, 39-30, Rams on top. Effingham out of the corner. That is Schaefer looking around, finds Wolf up top. Fitz is right there. Now to Bone on the right wing, looking around, right, left. Now settles for carry on the arc. Throws back to Bone on the right wing, now to the left. Wolf throws over to Zeruzin. Zeruzin trying to draw out the Ram defenders and throws to the top for Wolf. He'll make a run into the paint. His layup is no good. Tipped out of bounds off of Dylan Reeves. Good aggressive play there by Dylan. And now it'll be Effingham basketball underneath their own bucket. Only thing that's difficult out of 1-3-1 is rebounding. We have to send all five guys to the board there. Quick inbound, it's into Carey, he'll lean in for a jumper. It's long, rebound will be tipped across the basket over to Gilwan Nelson, it'll be Fitzgerald's to bring it up. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. 3D First Bank is at home, and Dick signed a Woodlawn and Mount Vernon where they welcome you back to personal banking. Remember FDIC. Double screen coming for Gilwan here on the wheel down, good job. Except he missed the bunny. Went off right block, missed the bunny, and then a frustration foul, and it's going to send it the other way. With 2.11 to go in the third. It was a beautiful double screen, but the Rams just couldn't buy the bucket. Yeah, he had a good open look. Can't compound the miss, though, with a quick foul. Like I said, we cannot get them into the bonus here. Our defense is doing a pretty good job in the half court. 
208 to play in the third. 39-30 the score, a nine point ball game. Nice pass to the right wing for Braden Bone. He's gonna get it back to number 12, Schaefer. Schaefer off to the left for Wolf, back into the corner for Bone. Back to Wolf now on the left wing. To the right wing for Schaefer. Trying to force a pass to the paint, stolen away by Dylan Reeves. He'll lead Fitz up ahead to the right side. It's one-on-one, -on -one. Fitz and Schaefer going back door. Tried to go back door for Gilwan instead of a charge. It's going to be a blocking foul on, I believe, Schaefer. And now the Rams will re-inbound. Fitz trying to say he was shooting, and he was, but foul was on the floor. I don't think either side is particularly happy with that call. No. Rams thought he was shooting. Effingham thought it was a charge, but it's not going to matter. Quick inbound, mid-post variety. Good glide in the lane for Gilwan Nelson. He'll come up with two more. He has 11, and it's 41-30. Good job under the goal play there to get an easy two. Out of the left corner, that's Schaefer at the baseline. Looks to Zeruz and took an extra step. There's your walk call. Come from the near side official. Turnover gives it to the Rams, and they can really make this an insurmountable lead here. Yeah, this 1-3-1 one, one has caused them all kinds of trouble. Picking them up in full court man-to-man -man right now. See what the Rams do this trip down the floor. Right now up 11, 41 to 30. Fitzgerald's with the basketball, controlling the rock at this point. In the right corner near the timeline, it's the scores table with a minute seven to play in the third. Rams up 11, looking to get to the championship tonight against T-Town. We're just running motion high right now, keeping the floor spread. Not necessarily going for one shot. We'll take a layup, only a layup. Left to the circle, that is Gilwan Nelson. 41-30, the Rams up 11 over the Hearts. Right sideline pass goes to Taylor. He's going to come back around, has reached the circle, instead goes to the Hart on the near sideline to Hunter. Hunter back at the timeline for Reeves. He goes right, he has a clean move, but the defense catches up. Back to Fitzgerald's with 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Good job by the Rams holding the ball here the last 50 seconds or so. We're going to look to come and set a high ball screen for Braden Fitzgerald's at about the 10 second mark. Spot up Bryce Hunter in the right side if they come help. See how the Rams do here on this play with 10 seconds left in the quarter. 41-30, six seconds left, deep right wing, Rams on top. Fitz with the basketball, now with two, pulls up from three at the buzzer, in and out. And that is how your third quarter will end. After three, the Mountford and Rams 41, the Effingham Flaming Hearts 30. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Second Chance Auto in Mount Vernon offers great quality cars at bank rate financing. And that's great news. Who else in the area can offer that? For nearly 35 years, they've been helping people with good and not so good credit get a good vehicle at a good price. Just make your payments on time and you can save hundreds, even thousands, on the total price of your vehicle. The selection has never been better, so don't get stuck this winter. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon, or call 244-4582. Second Chance Auto, honest people, honest deals. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you need each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We're on Instagram at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball. We head to the fourth quarter from Effingham with Tom Porter. I'm Chris Hugo on WMIX and WMIXSports.com as the Rams lead Effingham by a score of 41-30. to A win puts them in the championship at 8 o'clock tonight. Effingham will start the fourth quarter with the basketball. They quickly inbound. Braden Bone has it on the right wing. Looking to go back left as Wolf to the top for Carey. Carey can't find anything to do with it. Five count is on. Wolf wants a three, and it's no good. And now Effingham relegating to poor shot selection. With 7.39 to play in the fourth quarter. Mount Vernon staying in the 1-3-1. One, one. I, I do not think Effingham has scored since Mount Vernon's gone into the 1-3-1. One, one. They have struggled um, certainly mightily since the Rams have made the defensive switch. Greedy First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Fitz, welcome back to a three try. Yes! Big, big three. shot there, big shot. 
44-30 in a game like this feels like 20-25. Yeah, exactly. When points are hard to come by, a 14-point lead is a little bit more than a game where it's going up and down. Seven minutes to play in the fourth. Schaefer throws off left side for Wolf. 6.57 to go in the fourth quarter. Rams trying to salvage the pool and get back to the championship, or get to the championship. As Schaefer wants a three from the left side. It's no good. Tip back by Bone, not there either. Rebound will go to the Rams. They'll have a two on two here. Hunter and Taylor as Taylor the left man. Nice spin move. Layup's good. What a play by Shantez Taylor. He has 12, and it's 46 30. Excellent move in the open court. Excellent move. Right wing is Bone looking back to the left side. They'll go into the corner for Zeruzen. Off the double team in the 1 3 1. He's going to lose the basketball. Three Fitzgeralds. Brayton with a one on one. Defense catches up. Layup is no good, but a foul. As Fitz gets himself to the line to shoot two. May have tried a little too hard for the three point play, but can at least salvage two at the strike. Yeah, he's searching for contact on that. Really good job by Mount Vernon. When the ball gets deep corner, offensively, you want to stay out of that spot against a 1 3 1. Got a good trap and a steal out of it. Of course, with Fitz, he's trying to draw contact. Most are trying to avoid. And now Braden goes to the line to shoot two to try to make it 48 to 30. First one's good. A Rams win gives us a pregame of 7.45 tonight here on WMIX-FM. 8 o'clock would be your opening tip in the championship, assuming things run smoothly and on time. That second one's good. Fitz has five in the quarter, 13 for the game. And make it 48 to 30. He just stays solid in this 1-3-1. Make him work for every basket they can get and run a little bit of clock. And now Effingham going to be forced out of bounds but a touch foul on Hunter. Fouls on the floor, fifth foul for the Rams. Can't give him baseline there. Had him in a good trap. Got to seal off that baseline. Six oh four to play in the fourth. 48-30 to score. Quick inbound right of the bucket into the corner for Zeruza. Battling out of the zone and back off to the right side. They'll go with Wolf. Nice pass to Ruzan. Was coming in back door. Gets to the layup. Sean Zeruzan gets his first points of the night. And it's 48-32. Effingham scores for the first time in a while. Shantez just a little bit late dropping on that opposite wing to take away that skip pass. Always bank in your hometown team. Beauty First Bank. Home of the one account featuring free checking and high yield interest as Fitch was trying to get across the timeline. That was a quick foul, I thought, on Michael Carey. That is his fourth, team's fifth. Effingham's trying to get into a zone trap here, but good luck uh, pressing Fitzgerald's here. He's just too quick with the basketball. A back tap by Braden Bone will push it out of bounds. Lorenzo re inbounds. Side out of bounds in front of us on the sideline. With 5.33 to play in the fourth quarter. 48-32, the Rams on top looking for a win to put them in the championship. I think they might be grilling outside as the smell begins to waft into the gymnasium. 5.22 to play in the fourth. Rams certainly sizzling by now as well. Up 16 over the hearts. And you don't want to say that you're surprised by a Ram result ever, but I don't think anybody would have thought maybe a 16-point margin against Effingham. Yeah, not at this point. Mount Vernon's going to run a little bit of clock here, keep the floor spread, keep driving lanes open. We'll take anything they give us as far as going to the basket. No quick threes, though. Right timeline, Fitzgerald's with the basketball. 4.52 to go in the fourth. 48-32 the score. Now on a double team, trying to trap Fitzgerald's, and that'll be a reach foul. That'll be the sixth foul on Effingham, and a good job by Braden to maintain his control of the basketball. Yeah, he got really strong with the ball. If they come double, whoever's man comes to double has got to cut in the middle, get open there, and then we can keep swinging the ball from side to side. Rams will inbound, side of the bounds, 48-32, 4.44 to play in the fourth. Video at WMIXSports.com is powered by Rin Lake College. Log on to rlc.edu to apply right now. It's Trails in the right corner at the half line. Looking to go to the right wing. Splits the defenders. Goes back door to Hunter. Puts it up and in. Good post up by Hunter. That's a perfect offensive possession. We ran about a minute 30 off the clock and got a layup out of it. Doesn't get any better than that. With 4.19 to go. Off of the far side. Ooh. Nice split by Zeruzan. Jump stop in the lane. Basket short. Rebound to Bryce Hunter who mans up to get it. And now a reach foul on the hearts. And that will be on number 12, Reed Schaefer. And that's 
One in bonus time now for the Rams. Can't reach in like that and then be surprised when a foul's called on you. No, that was pretty obvious. He's still complaining to the official. I can't believe the official's letting him talk to him like that. And now to the line will go Bryce Hunter. 4.09 to play in the fourth quarter. The Ram lead is 50 to 32. Just need to start making free throws now. I have a feeling we're going to be going to the line quite a bit this last four minutes or so of the basketball game. See if Bryce can knock down a pair here. It start by making the first. It is on the way and good. He'll get another. He's looking for 10 points. It's 51-32. The Rams try to make it a 20-point ball game. Misses the second. Rebound will go to the Hearts. That was Michael Carey underneath. He's in trouble with four fouls. Nothing easy. Just make him run clock here at this 1-3-1. One, one. No easy looks here. Left side, Wolf almost lost. He's going to have his shot blocked. A jump ball forced by the Rams, and they'll take possession as Reeves forces the turnover. Nice job by Dell in the middle of the 1-3-1, one, one, coming and closing out on Wolf for the jump shot there. Tyler's may have two new locations, but they are still your best connection for your next automobile. Just west of Interstates 57 and 64 at Mount Vernon and worldwide at tylertoyota.net and tylerscars.com. 51-32, Rams had a length of the floor inbound, still in the backcourt. It'll be Fitz to cross right side. Rams are up 19 with 3.42 to play in the quarter. At this rate, they'll have T-Town tonight in the championship. 7.45 again would be your pregame. Fitz was somewhat fouled from behind, but... Instead of giving Carey his deserved fifth, it's going to be a third, it looks like, on Reed Schaefer. Yeah, Carey's getting a little chippy now. They're getting frustrated, deservedly so. Mount Vernon has absolutely taken them out of their game the second half. We'll see some subs for the Hearts as we're going to see Frankie Kasdorf and Drew Vasquez. 3.33 left to go here in the ball game, 51-32. Fitz trying to make it an even 20 points at the line. Misses the first. A rare miss at the stripe for Braden. And now coming the other way, the Hearts off the rebound. Vasquez might have gotten away with an extra step off of the right wing. Picks up his dribble, now throws back to Wolf on the sideline, who's looking for Bone. He'll step into a left wing three that's no good. Goes over the backboard, it'll be Mount Vernon basketball. We'll have your Schmidt Lake Cadillac postgame show coming up. We'll have a Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard and a Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game. Bird Watson Pharmacy is dedicated to providing you with superior pharmacy services. You can now visit both Kevin and Chris at 3401 Broadway for all of your medication needs. For all of your offensive needs, it has been Braden Fitzgerald and Gilwan Nelson and basically the entire team today as this Ram offense so far has 51. They're up 51-32 with 2.57 left in the fourth. Gilwan needs to be the release valve in this where we're holding the basketball. Number 50 is not going to come out and guard him out in the perimeter there. And now it's Fitz trying to dribble through traffic around the perimeter. He's near the half line in the corner, left side with 2.40 to play in the fourth. He's trying to get to the basket. And now we'll double back toward the half line. Beauty First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of Rams Athletics. Couldn't do it without them here on WMIX. 2.28 left. It's Fitzgerald with the basketball. Regrouping in the right corner at the scorer's table with 2.23 left. Ram lead is 51-32. And now Fitz trying to go to the basket. He'll get a foul as Fitz will go back to the line as Braden Bone got a little too close. I don't think Coach Reed has kind of uh, accepted the inevitable here. Not coming out and trapping. He's throwing in pretty much all his subs at this point in time. As Brady Jackson will check in, the Rams on a 10-2 run here in the fourth quarter to extend the lead to 51-32. And now Fitz trying again make it 20 points. If he can make the first on the one in bonus, that was the ninth foul on Effingham. It's one by one. Coach Reed has been subbing. First free throw, no good. Rebound to the hearts. Here comes Wolf into the front court. Left hand dribble. Throws off left side. And now, trying to make something happen underneath. It's getting chippy out there, left of the paint. Quick pass to Vasquez. He'll step into a 17-footer. It's good. 
Drew Vasquez off the bench makes it 51 to 34. A little bit of a gamble by Gill on let that step in 15, 16 footer happen. Now as the Rams are trying to play a a wild pass ends up out of bounds left corner at the baseline. And we'll see what happens with the Rams. It is 51 to 32. Little Rams up 19. There. Little sloppy. Just need to finish this game off now. Be solid. Take care of the basketball. Get out of here at the win and come back tonight for a big game at 8 o'clock. Rams in T-Town tonight at 8 p.m. 745 will be your pregame on WMIX-FM. 135 to play in the fourth. With the basketball he is number 14. Beals for three. No good. Rebound tipped by Beck, but it's going to go right back to Brady Jackson and a late foul call on Dalton Beck. Kind of an ole foul. Out of the box set inbound for the Hearts. It'll be Brady Jackson to trigger. Thinking about it was Brent Beals. Now he'll go back to Vasquez who will control the point here for the Hearts. 51-34. Rams lead with minute 17 to play in the game as Vasquez throws to the elbow. Jackson Dewitz on the way is no good. Malcolm Ruff the rebound. It's rough, Blake Jones, Brighton Bowers, Dylan Yules, and Dalton Beck for the Rams. Haven't seen a lot of Blake today, but he's getting some time now. As right of the circle, really haven't needed very many outside of the starting five and Reeves. 54 seconds left to go. I'm amazed at what I've seen so far. He's off of the right wing, trying to dribble in was Blake. Back to rough between the circles to Blake Jones with 45 seconds. Now, no call there. Back to the left wing. Three on the way. Bowers, no good. Rebound tipped around. Ends up with Ruff. He's going to hand it over to Yules. Shot no good. Rebound inside. It'll be tipped back out to Brighton. Three on the way. No. BB can't come up with it with 30 seconds left. Effingham the rebound. Here come the Hearts into the front court. 51-34. The score here. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. It's all been presented by Committee First Bank as they're content with throwing the basketball around the perimeter. Is that a foul with 11.7 seconds left off the right side? <laughs> off the right block, really? Yeah. Come they didn't on. call anything down there, and I was assuming they were probably going to go ahead and let this game run out, but never assume. As Brady Jackson was trying for a layup off the right block, and now will go to the line to shoot two. With 11.7 ticks to go on the clock, Committee First Bank of the Heartland is presented at all. I thought he was in the act of shooting. I was looking down, however. Makes the first to make it 51-35. Makes the second. It's 51-36. 11.7 seconds remain in this one as we look to see the Rams tonight in the championship game. Off of the right block, it's... Jones kicking back to Bowers between the circle, and that's how this one's going to end. Now Vernon 51, Effingham 36. We'll come back to tell you all about it in your Spitzfield Lake Cadillac postgame show. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Every other incident, it seems as if someone says, you'll never believe what happened. Hi, this is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. I assure you, Landers Collision Centers has seen and fixed it all. Whether your toddler got behind the wheel and backed into the trash can, a kid at school thought it would be funny to take off in your son's truck and side swipe a brick wall, or even if your ex took a major league whack at your truck windows, we can make it go away, and we certainly won't judge. As a direct repair facility for many insurance companies, we take care of just about everything, even getting you into a temporary vehicle and offering free premium detailing for the life of your vehicle. That's the Landers difference. Top to bottom, big or small, Landers fixes them all. Come see us in Mount Vernon and Salem and ask us about free detailing for the life of your vehicle or call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. I'm so tired of all the fees my bank keeps charging me in my checking account. Sounds like you need to join in on my New Year's resolution. Oh, yeah? What's your New Year's resolution? I'm going to People's National Bank to open a free checking account so I don't have to pay to have a checking account. Is it really free? Yes. And you can get to choose from three free checking accounts, including interest and rewards. That sounds great. This is one New Year's resolution.
decision that I'm going to keep. People's National Bank, proudly serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Qualifications apply to earn free checking rewards. Member FDIC. Walk right in to Ren Lake College beginning January 5th and sign up for spring classes. No appointment necessary. Renly College can save you thousands of dollars and put you on the fast track to a new career or continued education with over 100 degree and certificate programs. Trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Call 618-437-5321 or log on to rlc.edu. Renly College, your journey starts here. Rob Phillips with Schmidt Port of Salem. With over a decade of coaching youth football, I know what it takes to have a strong lineup, and here at Schmidt Ford we have it. Whether it's the strength of the number one selling pickup for the past 38 years, the Ford F-150, or the speed of the Mustang GT, we have put together a winning team. With big rebates or 0% financing, now is the time for you to own a new Ford. Come in and let Coach Phillips or any of our sales staff lead you to victory at Schmidt Ford, 1815 West Main, Salem, Illinois. When's the last time you cuddled up by a warm fire and sick to you while reading your car insurance policy? Hey, you've got better things to do than worry about insurance. And no one knows that more than Page Insurance, your local independent insurance agent. They'll take the time to get to know you because they're part of your community. And by offering personal guidance on insurance for your car, home, and valuables in a wide range of companies like Travelers. who help you choose insurance that's just right for you. For a free, no obligation quote, call Page Insurance at 242-7000 or stop by on Crown View in Mount Vernon. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show starts now. Back in Effingham for your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show. Rams winners here over Effingham. 51 to 36 is your final. I'm Chris Hugo with Tom Porter on WMIX. Watch us online tonight at WMIXSports.com. The Rams headed to the championship game where they will meet. The Tatopolis Wooden Shoes. They're winners of Pool A. The Rams by defeating Effingham. Winners of Pool B. Those two meet tonight at 8 o'clock. 7.45 will be your pregame here on WMIX-FM or watch us live at WMIXSports.com. We'll take a break. We'll come back with all the scoring and stats. We'll have a Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard, and we will even have a Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game. All to come on your Schmidt from Lake Cadillac postgame show. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Hi, I'm John David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you need each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, this is Roy Smith, Port Lincoln dealer at Port Square, Mount Vernon. I want to invite you to the biggest party of the season. We are throwing a going away party for all of the 2014 models with 0% financing for 72 months. Help us say goodbye with additional Ford credit bonus cash. In addition to 0% for 72 months, get $500 in bonus cash on all 2014 Fiestas and Fusion Hybrids. Or an additional $1,000 on 2014 Fusion Energy and Escape. Or find an additional $1,500 on select 2014 Fusion Gas. That's a 0% financing for 72 months plus Ford bonus cash. We're ready to say goodbye to the 2014 models and make room for all the new 2015 lineup. Come see our sales associates at Ford Square, 51 Broadway at Mount Vernon, or browse our new and pre-owned inventory at FordSquare.com. Looking to promote or recognize your team, event, or organization? Check out Winning Edge. Winning Edge specializes in screen printing and embroidery on activewear, which is the longest-lasting promotional item. They will imprint your design on activewear such as T-shirts, hoodies, uniforms, hats, and bags. Contact Winning Edge to get the right activewear to help you make a lasting impression. Find Winning Edge at 212 South 9th Street, Mount Vernon, or on the web at winningedgeusa.com and Facebook. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com, your Schmidt for Lake Cadillac postgame show. 51-36, Rams victorious over Effingham. Here in the Effingham Totopolis Christmas Classic as the Rams will go to the championship tonight against T-Town. 7.45 is your pregame, 8 o'clock your tip. 
here on 94.1 with video at WMIXSports.com as we are looking at a Ram team that after a bad game yesterday afternoon, Tom Porter just came back last night, came back today, full throttle, and ended up with two big wins. Yeah, really, really good defensive effort here today. Uh, like I said, the second half, I think switching to that 1-3-1 one, one pretty much uh, stymied them, and they weren't able to score, get, didn't get any good looks. We were able to spread the game out at that point and carry it through for a victory today. It certainly did, and we, on your Spitz for Lake Cadillac postgame, most from scoring and stats, let's take a look. First for the Effingham, Flaming Hearts from two-point land, 14 for 29 as a team, 49%. Three-point land, one for nine, 11%. Mount Vernon did a really nice job closing out on those. Five for six from the free throw line, 83%, total of 36 points. Mount Vernon was 16 for 27 from the field, or two-point shots, I should say, 59%. Four for 13 from three, 31%. The only negative I can come up in this game for Mount Vernon I had them at 7 for 15 from the free throw line, 47%, which has been a while since they've done that. So need to tighten that up a little bit tonight if we expect to knock off Teutopolis in the championship game. It'll be the Rams and wouldn't choose at 8 here on 94.1 FM. Watch it at WMIXSports.com. We'll take a break, come back. We'll have a 20 Wilt State Farm player of the game as well as a scoreboard update before we wrap things up for game one from Effingham. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Walk right in to Ridley College beginning January 5th and sign up for spring classes. No appointment necessary. Ridley College can save you thousands of dollars and put you on the fast track to a new career or continued education with over 100 degree and certificate programs. Trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Call 618-437-5321 or log on to rlc.edu. Ridley College, your journey starts here. At Banterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name. Understand your needs, supports your goals. Banterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Banterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Banterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Happy holidays. This is Mike from Tyler's and Mount Vernon. And our family sports generation is proud to bring to you the most innovative car track and SUV store. We appreciate your business. It's the totally new, totally Tyler's, and it's totally for you. Happy holidays from Tyler's, Toyota, Buick, GMC. Exit 95, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Or on the web at TylerToyota.net. Toyota. Hi, this is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt, and proud supporter of the Mount Vernon Rams. Whether you are a new customer or one that has been loyal to State Farm for years, let me take this opportunity to thank you for your business. If you are not currently with State Farm and are looking for someone you can trust to handle your insurance or financial service needs, let me invite you into our office. You will have a local agent you can work with, backed by the industry leader in State Farm. Find us in the phone book, online, or flag the State Farm Jeep down if you have to. However you find us, we look forward to talking to you soon. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game is next. Back here in Effingham, one final time, your Schmitz for the Cadillac postgame show. 51-36 the final. The Rams topple the hearts. Now they'll have the wooden shoes tonight in the championship game. With Tom Porter, I'm Chris Hugo, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Uh, we came to a consist consensus pretty quickly on the Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game. Yeah, I, it, with Mount Vernon, it was a really good team effort, quite frankly. So nobody really stood out, which is a good thing. Uh, I believe Bryce Hunter made a couple big threes when the game was still in doubt and uh, kind of got Mount Vernon over the hump and it will spread this lead out. So I think we're going to probably go with Bryce Hunter at this point in time. Bryce Hunter had nine big points tonight, two big threes in the second quarter. The Rams took a, took the lead with 3-10 left in the first quarter and never looked back. And they win it tonight, 51-36. to Bryce Hunter again, nine points. Your Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game. Tony would love to help your family with all their insurance needs. Find him in his office. Find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or try to track down that white State Farm Jeep around town and get to a better state with State Farm. Just a few quick scores for you before we sign off for the first of two times today. The Lady Rams fell to Westland, 51-42. They are out at Mascuda. For the Duster Thomas Hoops Classic, it looks like 
The Benton Rangers dropped one to Unity at 64 to 50. Other area teams, Carbondale Holiday Tournament, Marion beats Millington 66 to 62. Murfreesboro beat Cairo 76-55. Madison beats Heron 61 to 58. Also here at the Effingham Christmas Classic today, Brooks Academy beats Mattoon 56 to 48. The Rams you just heard beat Effingham 51-36. T-Town beats Al Rabi 87. We'll have a full scoreboard tonight at WMIXSports.com. More scores in our next broadcast, or you can always stay tuned and up to date on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, especially Twitterverse, for all of your scoring needs. Bird Watson Pharmacy, two locations, is now expanding their scrubs and shoes at 1200 Main Street. Stop by and see their large variety brands, styles, and comfort. That's now at 1200 Main Street. Of course, you can also find their full-service pharmacy now at 3401 Broadway. That's going to do it for us this afternoon. The Rams back tonight in the championship game of the second Effingham T-Town Christmas Classic. They beat Effingham 51-36. to Again, we're on the air, 745. Tip is at 8. We hope you'll join us here on 94.1 FM and watch it at WMIXSports.com. For Tom Portner, for Seth Gass, for all of us at WMIX Sports, thank you for accessing our broadcast today. I'm Chris Hugo. So long from Effingham. Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX.